guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome if you are a subscriber welcome back um, and I hope if you're not subscribed you might consider subscribing by the end of this video so today is a video about taking Cody to the vet now this is an interesting video because it has a twist also I do have a surprise for you guys so if you watch till the end you'll find out what the surprise is and um, yeah then I'll reveal the surprise here we are getting ready to go to the vet <gasps> Just gonna put his safety belt on so as you guys can see Cody is secured on a safety belt and ready to go oh, we're at the vet now Um, he got his shot and he is such a brave little man and we're back home he just started walking uh, Cody has to go back to the vet because he has a crypt orchid I'm not going to explain what that is I'll put the term right here so basically a lot of dogs it is really a common uh, thing especially with small breed dogs um, and it's mostly male dogs that do get a crypt orchid so that is why vets normally ask you or um, suggest that you neuter or spay your dogs when they're around six to seven months old because this crypt orchid basically uh, happens when they are after six months so this could happen to any dog it's really common uh, but it's mostly small breeds and yes yeah. after i phoned around and i had to get prices and things like that for this operation because it's not a cheap operation and it's something that could lead to bigger problems later in life so that's why I had to go and do it like urgent so we're ready to go to the vet this morning crying eyes so he's not feeling as well he's got tears in his eyes guys um, so now I have to leave him here. He's shaking. Oh, Leafy. Because he knows where we are. And yes, I'm crying too. <laughs> they just took him and I couldn't even take a video of how they took him and everything. They just took him and took him into the, like, the hospital section of the vet. I feel so sad because it's like my baby is going to go for such a big operation and 
I can't be there like to see him and um I'm sure he'll be fine you know when you're a pet parent you don't you don't like you don't expect these things you don't feel that this is going to happen to your dog because why should it happen to your dog you know I'm supp- I suppose he'll be fine um it's just a simple procedure that they need to do it just depends on how complicated the whole thing's gonna be cost wise it is expensive guys so make sure you do have a pet insurance now a lot of people take that for granted and they say you shouldn't have a pet insurance for your dog because what is the use okay (laughs) vet bills are super expensive okay so with regards to this it is something you need to consider and don't just go for the cheapest pet insurance do research and get a pet insurance that covers things like um you know any medical conditions any operations your dog needs to go through that maybe when he's under a year go do your research i have an awesome pet insurance um unfortunately i only took the accident plan now this is not an accident so i can't claim for this it is it is a difficult time for everyone and now you have to like pocket out like so much money it's the reality you know and if you just take the cheapest pet insurance and it's accident insurance your pet your pet insurance is not going to cover it so make sure that you've got a good plan and please note like 300 rand versus 4000 rand that is a big difference then go for it do it this is your baby this is my baby and you want your baby to get the best care they can to go fetch Cody <laughs> um, but they said everything went well I'm just gonna go and fetch him now Back home, guys. And Cody's so tired, Lucy. So I'm just gonna take care of him and then I'll give an update tomorrow. Guys, if you're wondering how Cody's doing, he's doing fabulous. So it's the next day. Cody had his first pain medication this morning after he ate a bit and now I just gave him some freedom to eat without the cone and then I just put it back because he does tend to lick he licks like everywhere and I don't want him to get hurt he's going to recover everything's going to be good in two weeks he's going to get his stitches taken out um, and yeah so everything is going well and I just have to keep him warm, have to keep him still. He can't smell the ground. <laughs> you watch till the end. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching till the end. So the moment you've been waiting for I want to start something new on my channel called comment of the day now so I want to engage with you guys because at the end of the day you guys are all what this is all about okay so in my next video I want to feature your comment right so if 
I'll, I'll just pick a random comment of the day. I think it's going to be really awesome. So I'm going to start this series on my channel. It's going to be on any video that I make. So any content. But anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in my next video. My next video is going to be about... Wait for it. How to give your dog pain medication successfully successfully so please stay tuned for that and yeah if you don't want to miss anything please subscribe <laughs> Man, please subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can see whether your comment is featured in my next video